Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another video. This is GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair. And as always, if you're already a subscriber, I wanna thank you for coming back to the channel, checking out this new video. If you like the content here, this video, please uh, give it a thumb up, like, share, comment. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for checking it out. Now, uh, Let's take up with this car, 2010 Honda Pilot, 6 cylinder automatic, all wheel drive. <clears throat> Customer complained that there's uh, a noise coming from the engine, it's making noise. Early this year, we replaced, uh, I replaced a power steering pump, it was bad, it was creating a noise. Now the customer think it probably is something related with that, but we're gonna check it. And when I moved the vehicle, this is what I found. Yeah, you get on the car, you start the vehicle, and right away, there's a noise coming right. I put my hand here, I can feel that vibration right here. It's coming right here from the center console. So it's a good thing because it's nothing related with the engine. Everything is fine. So we're gonna tackle this. Usually here, this one have a, a rear AC. So here, the uh, door blind actuators is where they go. So usually one of those is the problem. So we are going to find it and we're gonna fix it. With this, Down there. Okay, first thing what we need to do before we start removing anything here, we are going to place the camera so where we can have a better view. A couple little things, nothing crazy about this repair, but sometimes things can take a little extra effort. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we have to remove this cover right here. Hold like that now be gentle okay some vehicles this plastic is very brittle and it can actually uh, break sometimes it's not you fall but if you know if you don't take care of stuff it doesn't matter what it is you're gonna have to pay for it take this all the way because I don't have to it's two bolts that we have to remove from there so that's why we kind of pop in this right here okay this is easy because it doesn't have all these connections here and the shifter over there now the bolts that we are after is gonna be right here right no this one is right here one here and one over there okay <sighs> very good okay next thing that we're going to uh, okay that's the bolt that we want that we are after next thing we're gonna remove this cover both sides of the vehicle this one's pretty easy it's gonna pop like that now make sure it's loose you can bend this part no big deal still don't force it okay this goes up now place it this part face up so that wasn't get all the scratch and things like that so I'm gonna go through here okay sorry sorry Okay, let me put this so we don't show too much of the interior of the vehicle because it's not my business. Same thing. We just pop this thing up loose. Okay. Done. Okay, that's gonna stay there. So this 
this out of the way. Next thing that we have to do. Okay, let's do first things first. I need to remove this bolt right here. One. Now we're going to remove this bolt over here. Two. This bolt right here, this a little bit longer than the one we just took out of here. So remember that. That's that. Let me. Hmm. Okay, let me place the camera here again. This again, we have one bolt there. Lift this second bolt. I think one is shorter than the other one. Next thing here, I want to move some stuff out of the way, and right here. We have like a little tab here that we pull. And right there, we have one bolt, two bolts. That's what we're going to remove next. Okay. One. That one, you don't have to take it out of the place. Just leave it there. So that way you don't have to deal with it. Just remove those. Okay. Let's do it out. Next. I'm gonna come right here to the back seat. And right here's the control panel for the rear AC. Temperature, you can see the mode and your speed. So you're gonna use a flat screwdriver and you're gonna be careful here. You're gonna put it right between there. Let's see if I can show you. And you're just gonna so there, one, two, now just pull this plastic, no worry about it, just be, you know, careful, nothing wrong with that, use some finesse, so press the step, boom, done, now we're going to move this out of the way, so that way the face doesn't scratch, okay, what is next here? Okay, we gotta remove those. One. that side I think it's two more that I gotta remove okay, let's see hold on make sure it's not confidential here okay, got two more there so you lift that I want to remove those already interesting this one well again if you're ready to stay with me this far in the video thank you hmm what am I missing here there's nothing there Check something else here.
almost forgot here are the two 10 millimeter bolts one two they gotta be removed now the whole cover can move all right so uh, that's it give me let me disconnect it right here so we can just pop this have more room and I will continue with the video all right guys so here my twist take this here we're gonna press this tab now this is way now we can lift the whole thing we can have access there to that and let me place the camera so I can just move things around and give you a better view the cameras over there this you can see there right there that's the actuator okay so what we're going to do here let me put the camera there i mean the light and we're going to turn the key on i'm going to start the car i'm going to see which one it is And obviously it's not gonna do it because I disconnect the bottom thing. Of course, right? Try to be careful and oh never mind. The control is off, so there's no power to it. Great. That's yeah, just great. Hurt when you work by yourself. Okay, let's connect everything back here. There it is. See, I wasn't making it up. Connecting it and unplugging it. So what we're going to do now with a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to replace, remove those four bolts and the part's going to come off. All right, guys, this is the old part. Pretty simple. It just goes like this. Okay, it goes like this, kind of an angle. And this part is the one it just literally you just push it in place with the three bolts and that's it <clears throat> now this is a new part right from Honda I discovered that if I get some of this from the local auto parts store they don't last as long and I have to redo sometimes the job and again because I got the part 
I'm trying to save the customer money. That's what happened. I have to redo it again, and it's my fault. Not my fault, but you know, it's not fine. Let's open it. Let's load the sim. Pens. Pens. Well, okay then, so I will install this part and I will let you know what happened. All right guys, the new part's already installed. You see it right there. I think you can see it. Plug in. The only thing different here, the other one, this, everything is the same, but this arm was pointed, let's say this is, So this stop clock, this is pointed six o'clock. This arm was pointed at nine o'clock. No big deal. The only thing you do, just move the other plate uh, with your finger, the other uh, lever over there. The disc goes into it. Lift it. Put the new one in place. Here you're gonna have one, two, two, two little guy, three little guides that it goes there. So it's gonna guide it in place, then you put the bolts, and that's easy. Okay, so now that is new. Let's uh, confirm, make sure we start this. There's no more noise, there it is. Now it's moving. I don't know if you guys can see, but the arm just moved back to the position that the other one was in and it's no longer making any noise. Perfect. Well, this is uh, fixed. So hopefully this video helped you guys to fix that annoying noise. But uh, this is how you do it. I don't think I need to uh, make a video or continue putting everything back. You pretty much can just watch the video in the beginning and just do it backwards. Uh, some reverse order so again if you like the video please give it a thumb up uh, help me out to stay motivated to keep uh, taking the time and creating the videos all right so hopefully this help you to save money and uh, have a great weekend enjoy do your best forget the rest and I will see you in the next video guys God bless